What's up, y'all? It's been a minute since I've pulled the camera out. What's going on? I haven't pulled out the camera really since I think the last time we filmed was when Josiah was leaving to Miami. Well, he is a dolphin now. <laughs> he did sign with Miami Dolphins, so that is good. My baby got a job. That's great. We love that for him. But now we have to start the moving BS, which is literally the worst part of all of this. I feel like we just got settled into this house and I love it so much and now we have to find a new place to stay at for six months out of the year we are keeping our place here in dallas for now we know we want to probably buy a house here and own property here um, start a business here um, i just really like texas josiah really likes texas and you get a lot for your money and miami is the complete opposite literally the complete opposite and that's the stressful part about all of this um and just i've been going back and forth pretty much all week just like looking at places but it's really hard that's where we're at right now miami's so freaking expensive though like we're literally just want a one bedroom apartment nothing crazy literally we're not looking for anything that's glamorous or anything like that i really just need something that's clean something that's in a safe environment and um we can go from there but it's just expensive just for freaking one bedroom like dang the fact that we need a short-term lease it's the fact that we need to stay within a budget it's uh, the fact that we have to be close to his work also like we're gonna have one car down there so we have to kind of like think smart about like the whole situation it would be great if it came furnished because like i said we're not taking our furniture from here and we don't have furniture to like put away anywhere or anything like this this is going to be the first First time where we're gonna have like two home bases I guess yeah we're kind of just gonna see how it goes thankfully Josiah does train in Miami during the off season so that's nice he trains during the off season um, in Miami so he knows the area pretty well and so that's made it easier a little bit easier and I am gonna give props to him because he has been doing a lot of the work <laughs> I think he knows that I kind of get stressed out about this stuff. At least just like finding the place. As soon as we have the place secured, I think like I'm pretty, I'm pretty calm by that point. But we just need to find a place. It's just like not looking too good right now. But I am flying down there tomorrow. And I'll probably end up staying like a week or so. Flying back, packing up what we need over here and then driving down with Jasmine. It could have went a different way. Like there was a lot of talk on the Patriots. There was a lot of talk with uh, the Seahawks and stuff like that. And we're from Seattle. I don't really want to go back. I mean, okay, I appreciate Seattle now so much more now that I don't live there. It's a very just like visiting place. I need the sunshine. Josiah is actually at an apartment right now um, touring someplace. And it's way below the, not way below the budget, but it is below the budget. So that is good. And it works within the lease time. It's just not furnished. I don't know. I just, like, I truly don't know. I'm going to find out pretty much all of this once I get down there tomorrow. I'm spending the week pretty much just trying to look for a home for us. In the meantime, I did look at Airbnbs, but because it's Miami, it is so dang expensive just for like just a normal ass airbnb it's just so expensive it's just it's a lot it just doesn't make sense we don't want to get stuck in a lease and then this happen again where he has to pick up and move again we're not gonna um sign like a 12 12 month lease for sure we wanted to keep it around three max like three months and then go from there it's um, pretty stressful. I've been stressed out all week, like extremely stressed out. My last day at work, I had to quit my job, of course, because I'm not going to be living here. But my last day at work was Friday, and that kind of just like stressed me out too. It's just everything. Like when you pick up and move to a completely new city where you don't know anybody or know anything, it's like starting over all, all over again. It um, sucks but it is what it is I feel like I can't complain because of the position we're in yes we live a very fun life and everything like that and these are the stressful times these are the times that me and Josiah may bicker a little bit more over a couple of things disagree on some things I'm um, excited to go to Miami tomorrow I'm 
haven't seen Josiah in a week, so. And he was only home for maybe two weeks, if that, when I did see him. So I really just haven't seen him much in the last like two months. What's up, y'all? Right now we are in, we, like, as in we, are in Miami. Look at it. It's beautiful, the palm trees. I did some shopping myself for an apartment and houses and stuff. You guys should be shocked because I really hate doing that stuff. If like anything outside of football, I don't, I really don't like doing because I like my time outside of football. And like me being here like the first week too, like trying to get to feel everything. I had to do it though. You know, Ness was in Dallas because they give us, oh, I'm about to miss the dang accident. I am missing the accident. Uh -huh. I'm talking to y'all, but seven days. They give us seven days in the hotel, and then after that, they charge you 139. I'm not gonna be paying 139. I had no choice but to like get the move on it. I had to go find a place, really. Folks don't know about this. Even when you're trying to make the safest decision, I feel like the time crunch is just critical. So I go to Baltimore this weekend, so so I definitely got to be in a crib by then. And I'm not trying to pay the 139 you know, a month or or a day. But like with the apartment, it's like the furniture thing. So rent a house that is furnished so I don't have to go, you know what I'm saying, rent furniture. That's not how it's looking. I did, well, I'm not gonna say that right now because I just put an offer in last night for the house. It's a one bedroom house, but like, it's cool though. It's like an Airbnb style house, but like they're looking for somebody to rent it. We put the offer in for 24.50. Miami, y'all, I'm telling y'all like this thing, they be juicing every dime you can get. We're running around with their heads cut off. It's Monday right now. We had a game yesterday. I got workouts in about an hour or so. We gonna make it work, you know what I'm saying? We just got, we just got to get a roof over our head and then we gonna make it work from there. We've been here before, like, I mean, y'all know, man. We, we used to stand air mattresses and crap. Bro, you have a green light. Okay, so when you're applying to places or whatever, there's an application fee. So we have this problem while we were looking for a place in Dallas is that because Dallas, the houses go like this, like you see it, you better grab it. Hey, why are your nails clicking like that? Like this, like, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. so you get approved here, you get approved here, you get approved here. And now we get a choice. We get, pick. We get a pick rather than like, oh, let's wait around and see if, see if we really want that place or really want that place because then if one place gets taken, now it's completely off of the table because you didn't put in the application, it wasn't held for you. This is the uh, Aventura Mall. Not really looking for nothing. <laughs> we just, we're here to kill time because we waiting on our, uh, our rental tour to hit us about this property. See, I was gonna say we're about to go to Gap, but then Ness came out, so obviously y'all knew we already walked in. $180. But all we wanted to do was show you. The sweats are 180 bucks. The Yeezy collab. I mean, they are really, really good quality. They're really, really good quality. Like, if I were to get something, I would get the sweats. But the sweatshirt's $240. It is good quality, but like... It is really good quality. Oh, no, nah, I'm not. Yeah. Thanks. You've been in the car me now for... Five years. What are my car like pet peeves like? Touching the air after he gets out of practice, like because <laughs> he'd be hot and sweaty, but I'll like I wasn't just sweating, so it gets so cold in here and then I'll turn it down. He goes, Babe, I'm sweating. I'm like, okay. Oh, Me just like leaving like um, any kind of trash in the car. Yeah. It's <laughs> a huge one. How many times have you heard me huff and puff about this damn seat and the steering wheel? The steering wheel is one it of those It used to be two. really bad in the charger because Don't you had to manually the do it. Wheel. Oh, our realtor's calling. I think we have a place. Period. What's up, guys? I am um, gonna start this moving vlog this will be day one of the moving vlog um i did pack some yesterday i'm gonna finish packing today and then we're on the road tomorrow morning to miami i have a lot to do today i'm gonna go get my nails done though right now grab some coffee and then um my friend 
is coming over later today and she's gonna help me as well i think we'll be able to get everything done i'm a little nervous though and i don't want to go to bed super late because i do want to get an early start tomorrow it's gonna be a long drive be driving by myself for some reason it's not like i haven't made this drive before but you know i'm nervous but i have an appointment for my nails so i'm gonna go there right now actually i'm gonna get some coffee first then go there and then i have to pick up some things for the road tomorrow if i can get back here by noon that gives me like about five hours before my friend even gets here and then um she'll be able to pack up the car with me this is the part that a lot of people don't know about NFL girlfriends. You have to pack up the house and you have to get in the car with your big ass dog and drive 14 hours to go meet your baby somewhere. We've moved every six months in the last two years. Not fun, but it's okay because I don't have to pack up this entire house. I'm only packing up a few things, so just what we need. But yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to see the place because I am so excited just to live here. I don't want to give too much away because you guys, oh, you're going to die. Anyways, come with me on my day. I'm sweating and it's moving day. I just got the entire um, car loaded up and ready to go. I am sad to be leaving. I was actually very sad this morning. We are going to get through it and it'll be fine. I'm going to stop and get some coffee. But yeah, we're about to leave. We're going to leave literally within the next five minutes. So this is it. See ya, Texas. Okay, and we're off. It's okay. Um, I'm kind of like, I have a lot of emotions going on right now. I'm super sad to leave this house for sure. This neighborhood, everything. Ugh. But um, Miami's great too. It's, but it's not this, you know? I'm excited to be there and I'm experiencing, getting to experience it is like the whole thing. Like that's the one thing about the NFL that I absolutely love. All of these places, if it weren't for Josiah's job, I probably would never like experience them as in like living there. Um, I'm really excited, but also nervous about this drive. We have a lot going on right now, baby. Back here, too much going on overwhelmed guys i'm overwhelmed i'm overwhelmed but we're gonna have a cute little drive and that's it i'm gonna stop and get gas It was all right, all right, all right. Well, it's not taco night, but I wanted tacos. I love some tacos. First meal in a new spot. And I chose tacos. I said, babe, I need some tacos. I need some tacos, yeah. I'm over here chilling. Jazzy over here curled up. Okay, we're gonna get her a bed, y'all, because we left her bed in Dallas, okay? And this. And I know she's mad. Look at her face. I know she's mad because she is spoiled, y'all. She got like, she has her own room in Dallas. We go get her bed. About to watch them boys play tonight. Cowboys and the Giants tonight. I was over here upload some videos actually, so y'all stay tuned. We about to have our first meal. I'm oh, I'm about to put that flash on the corner. I don't know where we're gonna sit, but you know we gonna make it work, y'all. We grateful for this place, and like, we're trying to make it our home. This is our first meal in our new place in Miami. Oh, I got all on my face. Pause. All of my. Mm. <coughs> but. What is my hermanos? I have been craving these tacos though, because the last time that I had a home cooked meal was when I left. Miami? It was to Miami. Yeah. So it's been like a good month. Oh, so good though. Oh man. And I ain't put the hot sauce on it yet. You know you need the Tabasco. It depends what I'm eating, so I be using different hot sauce. And then I got my Louisiana. And then I got my Tabasco. And then sometimes I use uh what's the yellow one called? <laughs> 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 Does it good? Look at that. 
It's so good. I'm with LeBron be like, Taco Tuesday.